Hello everybody, welcome to Free Movement Dance and uh, today we're going to talk about how to do your dance hair if you're going for a class or if you're going for a performance or whatever this is the hairstyle that I would do if you actually want to check out how to do this uh, simple makeup for dance okay go check out our other video we have new videos up every single week but we do have another video which is for dance makeup but if you want to check out the hair today please keep watching One thing about hair for dancers is that you want to make sure that the hair doesn't get into your face, okay? But that's also very dependent on the type of hair that you have and the hairstyle that you have. For me, I purposely left my fringe longer so that it's easier to tame and put it up when I need them to. So if you have like bangs and stuff like that, just make sure to trim them to make sure it doesn't touch your brows and stuff like that, okay? I'm gonna do like a low ponytail today because I have a private bachata class with my friend, shout out to Iling, and of course my husband Ash. <laughs> He's gonna be my partner. So we're gonna do a bachata class and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do a low ponytail look. By low ponytail, I mean I'm gonna make my ponytail lower this way and I don't wanna make it too high because if I were to do any like turns, I know that I'm gonna flick him with my hair and I don't know if he can dance properly after that. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you a low ponytail and where the ponytail should be positioned. Of course, bear in mind that there are many different styles out there, okay? I like to do a high ponytail as well. But not today, today I'm going to do a low ponytail. So it's more controlled even when I'm practicing the turns and stuff and the styling and all, I don't have to worry about the hair flicking everywhere. So, let's start. By the way, if you have any questions about the hairstyle I'm going to do and stuff like that, just drop it down in the comments below. But if not, don't forget to like and subscribe because we have new videos coming out every single week for you. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a brush, just a regular brush. This is the freestyle brush that I've had for eons. I've used this brush for so many dancers and I sanitize them all the time. So yeah, sanitizing all of your makeup and stuff makes a lot of a difference as well. So what I am doing is I am brushing away all of the knots so that I have a very very clean, neat, sleek look because I want to show that kind of reverence to my teacher. <laughs> Huge shout out to Vivian from Anne Motion. Uh, who's gonna be teaching our private bachata class today. So shout out to Gary from Motion and all of you good guys over there. This hairstyle would suit dancers for like, let's say, contemporary dance, salsa, bachata, all sorts of different dance really. Or if you have a performance and you want to do a dance, uh, a hairstyle like that, okay. This is a very, very popular hairstyle. It looks very neat and very clean as well. That's what I like about that. Removing all the hair and throwing it away. So then what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna grab a red tail comb. You know what? Let me get the orange one so it's easier to see. So I'm gonna use a red tail comb. This is called a red tail comb. The end is pointy. And I'm gonna figure out where my pathing is because I wanna have like a side swept fringe for today. And I'm thinking whether I want it this way or the other way. You know what? Let's do it this way. You're gonna figure out where your parting is. Now if you have a center parting or a certain parting, you can go ahead to do that. But I want to make sure that the line is very neat. So I kind of just use the red tail cone to draw a line and split it open. And you can see how neat the line becomes. So this goes this side, this goes this side. So this is how it's gonna look at the end of it and I think it looks fine. Okay, it's a little bit slanted but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a hair tie and I'm going to just put it around my wrist because that's what's going to hold everything in place. For my fringe, because it's longer, I'm just going to leave it there because it's all going to be grabbed up. But what I do now is thumb behind my ear this way and I'm going to grab all the hair at the bottom, okay? I'm going to do it the same thing for here. Thumb behind. Don't care about the fringe first. I know it looks really awkward but we're going to fix that later, okay? So again, go ahead to grab. If there are any strands that I can feel is not in place, I kind of let go and I do that again until everything is in place. Grab and pull. Now, the nape of your neck is over here, 
right? So you want to make sure that your ponytail doesn't sit all the way down at the bottom because that is where it's going to be very uncomfortable if you do any head lifts and stuff like that if you look up. So you want to make sure it's slightly higher but it's not too high until, you know, it's at the top of your ear. So if your ears are here, you're going to draw a line down here this way. So ideally, you have this angle going down, okay? Forehead, ear, ponytail. So if your ponytail is here, you don't have that angle. Which is fine as well, but I want to keep it under... You see, the biggest part of your head is over here, right? You want to make sure that the ponytail is tucked right under where it's curving in. That's where you want to start to hold the ponytail in place, okay? See, it's not too low. I have about two fingers from the hairline, the base hairline up. And then from here, I'm going to use my hands first to smooth everything out as much as I can. Okay, I'm not pulling it too tight yet. Once I'm happy with it, I'm going to use the hair tie. And I'm just going to tie everything in place. First tip, don't tie the hair tie too tight. If you actually need to do any adjustments, it's going to be a lot easier to do any of the adjustments. So you want to make sure that it's not too tight, okay? And by the way, after that, we can still tighten it or use an extra hair tie just to pull it all in place, okay? So what I like to do from here is I kind of like to use my hands to smooth anything, okay? What I was saying about the fringe is don't worry about the fringe because we this is where we can actually adjust the fringe. Now with side fringes, you don't want to make it too high up because it makes your forehead look very high. So what I like to do is I like to use a red tail comb, put it upside down and do this little sweep. Can you see the difference? Can you see how much lower it went? I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to bring it down even lower so it make, doesn't make my forehead look too high. Tung tung. Can you see that? All these little small, not small, stray hairs. I'm just going to use the tail to put it back in. See that? It looks a lot better. You're going to do the same thing over on this side, okay? If you have a bald spot like me, I'm going to show you how to cover that up in a bit but yes this is where you're going to use the comb same thing i'm using this side of the brush and i'm going to bring it down this way Woo, look at that looks so much uh, better now it looks like my hair is very full even though it's not right if you're finding it very difficult to do this okay spritz some water all over your hair first or have your hair at least a day old okay this helps a lot. And once you've done that, go ahead to gently, I'm not pushing the brush all the way into my scalp, I'm just gently kind of like brushing it this way. Okay, to pull everything in place to where I want them to be. Because I'm happy that um, I need to find another hair tie. <laughs> okay, I don't know where my plain hair ties are today. So I'm gonna use this hair tie that my daddy gave me when I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. Thank you, daddy. So, it's a sunflower, isn't it cute? My daddy gave me this, I love it. I still have it and I'm gonna use this. So what I've done is I've actually already straightened um, all of whatever that I want in the place that I want it to be, okay? So, oh, oh, you see, you see, look. I have this look going on over here. Can you see the sideburns? I wanna cover the sideburns too. Forgot about that. Bring it down. There you go. Oh, yes. Looks so much better, look at that. Mmm, look at that. So, what I'm going to do is because everything is a little bit loose now because remember the first hair tie wasn't that tight. So I'm going to grab another hair tie and now I'm going to pull everything in one more time. You know, I'm using my hands to pull it all flat. Okay, I'm going to grab the other hair tie to just make sure it really stays in place. See, so yeah, I'm just pulling all the, all the strands are here. Now that's when I just kind of split my ponytail into two and I just tug it in. Now this is the part where it depends on whether you want to use pins or if you want to use hairspray. I typically like to use both. So I'm going to grab a bobby pin, just a regular black bobby pin. And for the part that I feel are moving a lot, I'm just going to open the bobby pin. You see this part where I feel like it's very shaky? 
I'm going to pull it in. I don't want to put the bobby pin so high up. I'm just going to put it lower. At the back here this way. And I'm going to push the bobby pin down. Okay, I'm pushing it down towards the hair tie. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm quite happy with that. Do I think I need more? Yes, I'm going to put one more here because I feel like the hair is coming off. Because remember, I've got shorter fringe. I have fringe that is shorter than the rest of the hair. That's what I meant. And so it's actually moving a little bit. You can see all this is starting to fray. So all this I'm going to use hairspray in a bit. So I'm not too worried. And the hairpin is going to put everything in place today. Just going to pin this baby up. Okay, for the tip of the hair pin this way, I like to just tuck it in the hair after I push it down. Just use some hair to cover it. Oh, feels so much tighter. That's my shade head test. Okay, I'm done with the hair pinning. This side has no short fringes, so it's okay. So now that everything is not moving, I am going to then start to hairspray to keep everything in place. So today I'm going to use the Lucido Designing Air Hairspray Super Hard. I love the color. If I could make free movement pink, I would, but I tried very hard to control myself. So, so yes, this is what I'm using. And um, you can see all the hairs are starting to drop, which I cannot stand when I'm dancing. So I'm going to use this to kind of spritz and then I'm going to use the retro comb to hold everything in place. Cover my eyes. Not using too much first. First spray, just to comb everything down. Hold it, it all in place. Cover my sideburns, thank you. Thank you very much, yes. And do that one more time. You can use your hands to help hold it all in place as well. while the hairspray dries. I feel like I'm going to pop one more pin here. So I'm going to do that. And grab one more black pin. Because I feel like my hair is moving a little bit. Okay, feels better. And I'm going to spray on this side. Okay, you can see it still my bald spot's opening because it's not sprayed in place. So same thing. And I'm using my red tail comb to quickly put them in place. Okay, for the remaining hair that's a little bit frizzy, I like to then use the back of the red tail comb and just like push them down in line with the hair. The remaining part is just up to you. I like to use my hands. But the styling in terms of like where the fringe is going to stay and everything is already there. So I'm not going to do too much there. Alright, it actually looks okay. There's a little bit of baby hairs going on. Also because um, I just gave birth, so I didn't drop any hair during my pregnancy. Right now, after all the hormones have faded, a lot of hair dropped and therefore a lot of baby hairs. Okay, if I'm in competition and performance, I'm going to push it all down, but I'm not going to do that today. It's just too much. I need to use a lot of hairspray. Okay, so this is the final look. You can hairspray more if you want, okay? So you can see this is how the hair looks on the front, okay? To the back. <laughs> okay, so if your hair is over here while you're dancing, looks great. If your hair is over on the other side when you're dancing, great too. But the good thing is when you're spotting with your hair down low, it doesn't um, flick your partner or anyone. So that's what I like about this hairstyle. Of course, if you want, you can actually go ahead to pop a scrunchie in. So it actually look kind of cute too, but not feeling like a scrunchie mood today, so I'm not going to do that. Got the, our XXL scrunchie and our small scrunchie. And yeah, you can go ahead to decorate how you want. If you're doing flamenco, you can go ahead and pop a flower. If you're doing jazz or gym or whatever that you're doing, you know, you can go ahead to put different accessories. So there are lot of, lots of things that you can play with. So just go ahead and play and have lots of fun. But um, yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this 
hairstyle look today again if you have any questions drop it down in the comments below I'm more than happy to help you in your dance journey but also don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, turn on your notification bells because we have a new video coming up every single week for you and yeah I'm more than happy to support dancers here today so this is our filming studio and then we have our sewing studio at the back and our dance studio is right at the front again here to support the dance community as much as we can go check out our website so that's at freewomensg.com and if you have any questions let me know anytime. I do reply all the comments, so let me know. Hope you found this video useful. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you again every single week with a new video. So take care. Till then, bye! My god, time flies. It's 11.23! And I'm just done with my hair and makeup. Time for dance class! Hehehe. <laughs> this is what my camera is sitting on. <laughs> Mercy! Mercy! Hi! Tiger, what are you doing? No, Tiger! Mercy! Mercy! What are you doing, Mercy? <laughs> Hi! I love you! Oh, you're walking to the camera! You're so cute! This funny boy! You're cleaning his cage! Hi! Oh yeah, I love you. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Tiger, what are you doing? What are you doing, Tiger? You're all over the place. Don't eat his food. Purple, say hello. Hello. <laughs> Mercy. Mercy. <laughs> Purple loves Mercy too. Tiger, it just wants to eat my seat. <laughs> no, my babies. No, my seat. My seat got pee pee. My seat got the pee pee. Aww. New sand bath. Smells nice. <laughs> Tiger, you're doing what? Aww. Pee pee. Serious face. <laughs>